My question to you will be, what are the factors that influence the Muslim moral development, basically? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi wa ahdahu wa sallallahu wa sallam ala man la nabiya ba'dahu wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. What are the factors that affect the the Muslim development of morals? I think primarily the Prophet sallallahu says, "Ma min mauludin illa wa yuladu ala al fitrati fa abawahu yuhawidanihi aw yunasiranihi aw yumajisanihi." Uh, every child is born upon the original nature and is affected directly by the upbringing of the parents who then make that child either Jewish or Christian, whatever else it may be, and it would be correct even as Muslim. So the role that a parent plays from day one is very crucial when it comes to determining what the level of morality is within faith. Because when we say our morals, we are speaking of a very high level of morality. Our values, we're speaking about strict values, beautiful, high values, those that have been coming along for the centuries, not something that is new but rather we polish what we have and if the upbringing within the home is beautiful it just makes it easy like you say it's a contributing factor it's probably primary and that's why we always say as parents or as older siblings make sure that you are exemplary in your home not just for yourself but for those who are around you those who are younger than you those who are supposed to look up to you, if they see you do things that are upright, they will automatically do that which is upright. So this is a contributing factor. Similarly, the type of education we choose for our children as we grow, the type of friends that we have, all this the Prophet ﷺ has addressed as in the issue of companionship and company. You are known by the friends that you keep. So make sure you have good friends. That's advice of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Similarly, in the Quran, in Surah Al-Furqan, Allah Almighty makes mention of those who will regret certain friendship that distanced them from Allah and His Messenger. And this is why Allah says, وَيَوْمَ يَعَضُّ الظَّالِمُ عَلَى يَدَيْهِ يَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِ اتَّخَذْتُ مَعَ الرَّسُولِ سَبِيلًا On that day, the one who did wrong to himself, the one who, what we would say, oppressed himself, wronged himself, would literally be regretting to the degree of biting his hands. And that is a terminology used for the height of regret. Why? Because... They would be regretting not having treaded the path of the messenger. The cause of it would be a bad friend, someone who was bad. And that's what the Quran says in the verses that follow immediately after that. So these are some of the factors that are contribute or contributory to the moral development of a Muslim, where it should be. Now, if we're already older, and we already have uh, passed that stage and phase where our parents have an impact on us, we still need a good sense of friends, a good standard of friends. Similarly, you need to push yourself to learn, seek knowledge. Remember, it is through discipline and very high values and morals that you will actually achieve true contentment.